Many commands in MATLAB allow the use of lists of numbers, known as vectors. For example, we could plot each of these points individually, then connect the dots. But by using vectors, we can do it all at once. Let's try making a vector to store our x values. We create a MATLAB vector by entering our sequence of values, placed within square brackets, and separating the values with commas. Notice that this creates a row vector. But what if an application calls for a column vector instead? No problem. We use semicolons in place of the commas. Now, back to that plot. Let's go ahead and create y as a row vector too. Then, we call the plot function using our x and y vectors as inputs. And there you go. We have a plot of our points.